Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good morning friends How are you today? I hope you are good Okay, back with me Miss Hana in science In the previous lesson We have learned about Living things and non-living things So, today we are going to learn about Characteristic of living thing and characteristic of non-living thing. So before we study, let's say basmalah, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, friends. Now let's check it out. Characteristic of living things Look at the picture Frog jump Fish swim It's called move Move is to go from one place or position to another Let's see the picture Yes, that's the process of exhaling Breath is the process of inhaling and exhaling. Let's see the picture. When the dog kisses you, you will run. When you play the music loud, you will close your ears. So it called sensitivity. Sensitivity is to respond the change around. Look at the picture. Yeah, they sweat. It is called excretion. Excretion is to remove waste from the body. Waste from the body are sweat, urine, and feces. Okay, now look at the picture. Yeah, the animal and their babies. It's called reproduce. Reproduce is the process of having babies. Can you see the picture? Yes, it is called grow. Grow is to become bigger and larger. What do the living thing needs? Yeah. They need food and water. Okay, look at the table. The green one is characteristic of living things. The blue one is characteristic of non-living things. Living things move, non-living thing don't move. Living thing breathe, non-living thing don't breathe. Living thing have sense. Non-living thing don't have sense. Living thing make waste. Non-living thing don't make waste. Living things reproduce. Non-living things don't reproduce. Living things grow. Non-living things don't grow. Living things need food and water. Non-living things don't need food and water. Okay, now do the exercise in science book page 17. Don't forget to take a picture and submit to your teacher. Thank you. See you next time. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.